Good afternoon. Here we are on a little bit rainy afternoon. And we're right now we're in the word in the word of John. John 1 14. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Again, that's John 1 14. You know, it's a little difficult. This may be one of the verses that as a kid confused the heck out of me because I would look at it and think the word became human. What was the word? Well, the word is God. And if we look back a little bit further, John 1, 1, we find in the beginning, the word already existed and the word was with God and the word was God, which again, as a child, confused the heck out of me. How could the word be God and be with God? Well, to figure that out, we have to back up even further, go all the way back to Genesis, Genesis 1, 26. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. And he goes on to say they will reign over fish of the sea and the birds in the sky, livestock, etc. But the most important part that concerns us right now, then God said, let us make human beings in our image. Now, when I was going through the Rooted program with church recently, I read that. Actually, no, it was before that. Um, I read through that and I looked at it and I saw for the first time, then God said, let us. Who's us? It was the first time this was really made clear to me. I mean, if we go back and we look at Genesis 1-1, there was God, he created day, he created night, light, dark, etc. We go through all of that, but the part that I missed was us. But the most recent time I went through a Bible, the Bible study with a group of guys that I'm in, I saw the word us. So who is us? Who is there? Who is with God? Well, this is where we find the beauty of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And if we go back to the verse we're looking at today, so the word became human. John 1, 14, the word became human. Who became human? Jesus. God showed up as Jesus in human form. So who was there in the beginning? If we go back and we look at John 1, 1, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God, Jesus being with God, and was God. So if we consider this in a whole, we look at the word being with God, and the word being God, we can see from the very beginning back in Genesis that in Genesis 1, 26, we already see the Holy Trinity being written out. Now, in this particular case, it doesn't look into the Holy Spirit, but it does, in fact, let us see that God was not alone. God was with his son. God was with Jesus. God is Jesus. So we're one and the same, all three. So the word, going back to what we're talking about today, John 1, 14, the word became human. This is God transforming himself as Jesus and coming down to live on earth and spend time with us in the form of a human form as his son. So this is what he said. He became human. He made his home among us. Now in that, he shows up and he lives with us. He was full of unfailing love, which we clearly have seen, and faithfulness. He never did wrong. He showed us love in every single way. He, just like we talked about yesterday, he, showed, he shared his time, his talents, his treasure. He shared wisdom. He shared love. He taught us how to be disciples. He showed us everything that we need. And it goes on here to say, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. This is the lesson that we need to remember. God has been there since the very beginning, and we are so important to him. We are his masterpiece, as, he's, as it is referred to us elsewhere in the Bible. We are God's masterpiece. He loves us so much that he sent himself in human form as his son to come be with us, to live among us, to show us, to teach us, to guide us, to love us, to serve us as we're supposed to serve others. We're told to go out and make disciples. And in doing so, that's serving people. It's loving people outside of everything that they may or may not have done wrong because that's not ours to judge. That's for God and God alone to judge. But it's our job to show love exactly as he showed it to us such that we can make the world a better place. So again, John 1, 14. So the word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Father God, thank you so much. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for loving us enough to put everything else aside. I know, Lord, that you have eternal time and that you live outside of time, but you took the effort 
to come and live with us and walk among us and love us and show us and put your word into a form that we could understand. Lord, the time and effort and the talent and the, the number of individuals that took place to writing your word out in the Holy Bible such that we can read it and we can try our best to follow along. And Father God, for making that a living word that teaches us in, in every way, every day, if we go back and reference it, Lord, we learn something new from you and your guidance and wisdom. Father God, we love you. Let us honor you. Let us remember you this Christmas. I remember what you taught us to do, what you showed us to do. Your example, to go, to serve, to love, to give, to help. Every way that you've shown us to be your disciples, Lord, let us remember that every day this Christmas season. Father God, we thank you for your mercies, your grace, your everlasting, unfailing love, just as you've spoken in John 1, 14. Thank you, Lord. We love you. And we are so thankful for you sending your son in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Nothing can separate, even if I ran away, your love never fails. I know I still make mistakes, but you have new mercies for me every day. Cause your love never fails And you stay the same through the ages Cause your love never changes There may be pain in the night But joy comes in the morning And when the oceans rage I don't have to be afraid because I know that you love me Cause your love never fails No Your love never fails Have a fantastic day Remember that God has always been there with us He was there before us He will be there after us And He is here, most importantly, with us God loves you. He is there for you. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon. God bless.